Have you ever considered living on Mars? Elon Musk recently hinted that astronauts could reach Mars as soon as 2029, but that this could still be a while. But it is said that this can happen with Elon Musk's newest discovery on Mars. What could this be? Stay tuned to find out more about it. It is no doubt that NASA has been very curious about the planet Mars and has sent several rovers to explore its terrain. The rovers have been making amazing discoveries from all over the planet, but Elon Musk has been paying close attention to all of them since he plans to establish a permanent outpost on the planet. The Perseverance rover is the latest to land on Mars, accompanied by a small helicopter named Ingenuity. How was NASA's Perseverance vehicle discovered on Mars? And how can you benefit from discoveries? Keep tuned as we bring you the shocking finding that Elon Musk and NASA has made on Mars that has shocked the entire space industry. Perseverance is an autonomous vehicle moving millions of miles away on planet Mars, and it costs a whopping $2.7 billion, much more than anything seen on the road today. So why did NASA spend so much money on it? Since the Mars Exploration Program began, NASA has been systematically testing whether life has ever existed on Mars. It has been proven that liquid water once existed on the surface using Agency's Spirit and Opportunity rovers. Several years later, NASA's Curiosity rover confirmed the existence of conditions on Mars 4 billion years ago that would have supported life as we know it. Now, Perseverance will seek direct evidence for past life on Mars. Amidst the challenges and chaos of the global pandemic of COVID-19, Perseverance launched on July 30, 2020. As mission controllers were unable to direct the landing process in real time, the spacecraft landed in Jezero Crater on February 18, 2021, the site of an ancient lake and river delta. Additionally, the rover will look for microbial fossils and rock formations from Mars' warm, wet past in the crater. After that, it will look for molecules that contain carbon, called organics, which are the building blocks of life. It had been almost 30 years since NASA directly searched for life on Mars with the dual Viking landers, which conducted long-shot chemistry experiments that failed to produce results. As it travels, Perseverance collects soil samples and rocks and stores them into tubes. The European Space Agency and NASA will collect data from their future missions, while technological advances have allowed low-power instruments to be developed for space missions. Many types of laboratory analyses still can't be performed in space or can't be done with great precision. Furthermore, science is all about reproducing results, so bringing Perseverance samples back to Earth allows us to perform the same experiment in more than one laboratory. So, what does Perseverance rover look like? It's a one-ton, six-wheeled Mars rover that's about the size of a compact car, and it's designed the same as the nuclear-powered Curiosity. Furthermore, dust storms can prevent solar-powered spacecraft from receiving the sunlight required for operation. Perseverance was able to improve upon the complex 7-minute landing sequence that has been called the 7 minutes of terror. Moreover, Perseverance was lowered the final few meters to the surface via nylon cords as well as a supersonic parachute and a thruster-powered descent. And a Mars rover can collect images using navigation cameras on its surface, as well as images from satellites orbiting the planet like NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. And using these photographs, mission operators and scientists collaborate. To drive Perseverance towards promising areas, Perseverance will explore any interesting spot, gather samples in a small tube, seal the tube, and leave it on Earth to be picked up by the planet. Moreover, Perseverance is equipped with two Raman spectrometers enabling her to perform life scanning. Scientists use these instruments to shine ultraviolet light on a rock or soil patch and measure the reflected light signature to determine what type of chemistry is present. Sherlock, an instrument on Perseverance's robotic arm, and Supercam, an instrument on the rocket's mast that includes a laser for zapping rocks several meters away, are among Perseverance's most advanced instruments. Moreover, the robotic arm of Perseverance is also equipped with a camera that can see details as small as a grain of salt. 
The lower rear of the rover is equipped with a radar that can detect water pockets under 10 meters of surface water. In addition, Perseverance is equipped with a weather station, dubbed Meta and Moxie, which will be able to extract carbon dioxide from Mars's atmosphere and create oxygen. The MOXIE project will demonstrate the feasibility of producing oxygen on Mars for use as rocket fuel and to breathe by future astronauts. As Musk needs to find a way for his Mars explorers to breathe oxygen, he will pay attention to this part. Besides the Perseverance rover, an Ingenuity helicopter is also present. And the helicopter will not directly affect Perseverance's mission, but it will assist NASA in learning how flying machines work on Mars. Furthermore. Perseverance has been taking pictures since landing. There are 23 cameras on the rover, which have returned more than 100,000 images of Mars. These photos are already providing clues that will guide the search for ancient microbial life by enabling us to understand how water shaped the landscape. And the raw images have been made publicly available in an online gallery, and everyone can view them. One of the photos is an iconic selfie with ingenuity. The two have flown together at least 19 times, and the first flight was on April 19, 2021. Additionally, it was the first time a powered flight took off from another planet. On board Ingenuity, there are two cameras, a forward-facing 13-megapixel color video camera with stereoscopic capability and downward-facing black-and-white camera for navigation. Ingenuity's cameras provide high-resolution images but they are also creating a detailed 3D map of the Martian landscape. It's the kind of 3D image that jumps off the screen when you wear those fetching red and blue glasses. Perseverance, however, has accomplished something even more amazing. The next achievement will forever alter the course of space exploration. Another first for this mission came when the gold car battery-sized instrument was able to create oxygen by reacting with carbon dioxide. By providing humans with breathable air, Moxie will ensure their safe return home. Moxie uses solid oxide electrolysis to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. This carbon dioxide is compressed and filtered to remove contaminants, and then heated to separate oxygen and carbon monoxide. At this point, you may recall that Musk plans to produce propellant for the Starship right on Mars. In addition, Perseverance has been working to collect samples. Scientists back home eagerly await the return of the rover to take six samples of rock and atmosphere from Mars. The Perseverance spacecraft drilled just six centimeters into the surface of Mars and extracted the rock core carefully encapsulated into a tube. Those were the first samples taken from another planet by a spacecraft that could eventually be returned to Earth. Scientists can then analyze the samples using technologies that may not be possible to transport to Mars when the samples are delivered. Persistence also led to another significant confirmation of what happens on Mars. With the help of the rover, scientists have studied the Delta Scarp, one of the crater's most impressive geological features. Around 3.7 billion years ago, the Jezero Crater was fed steadily by a small river. Today, it is a dry, window-roaded depression. But it was once an ancient lake. Furthermore, there is an old delta created by the convergence of a river into a lake within the crater as further evidence. Perhaps the river delta was relatively calm before the flood, but there are signs that high-energy flooding transformed the slow-meandering stream into a fast-moving flash flooding. And it may have been due to a dramatic change in climate that made these waters strong enough to carry boulders downstream before accumulating on the lake bed. And the sedimentary rocks below the landing area if the area was once a lake environment, then we might be able to find evidence of ancient aqueous life. Throughout its short stay on Earth, Perseverance has discovered much more. And what could happen with its newest discovery on Mars? Even though scientists cannot yet say with certainty that life has ever existed on Mars, and more rigorous tests are necessary to draw this conclusion. To prepare for human missions to Mars, NASA will establish a permanent presence on the moon with commercial and international partners. What can you say about this? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, thank you for watching. If you would like to receive updates on Elon Musk and his companies, make sure you click the subscribe and bell button.